all of you beautiful peoples of the interwebs. I am Daniel, and welcome to Music Time, which for those of you who don't know, time where I talk about music. So today on Music Time, I shall be doing a review of Different Class by Paul, released in 95, which means it's like a year older than me. So, oh, I feel young, or they feel old. Something feels something. It doesn't matter, but um, one thing I want to say before I really get into it is... Different Class, this is probably one of my favorite albums out there. And for a long time, it was my favorite Pulp album. But now I've gotten to the point where I honestly... Pulp is... I've been listening to their stuff so much, I I really can't pick favorites anymore. It's, it's tough, but I personally love this album to death. Not a single bad song on it. Everything is good. I love just tons of things there, you know. Um, one of the things for anyone that's heard me talk about Pulp before, before I really get into this, is I love just they are, they have these unique views on things like relationships and sexuality, and that definitely shows here. And th that's some of the main themes on this album. Also, it's, you know, as the title would suggest, it's about a different class, you know, and just, you know, speaking of different classes, that's what the first song on the album is, which I love it. It's an amazing intro track, um, the song Misshapes. Starting off the track by track review, I took notes. Very, very fancy. So the song Misshapes, um, one thing I love about it, first off, you know, I love, love, love an album that has an intro and an outro. Different Class has those, and they're both amazing. Misshapes takes a few seconds where it's sort of slow, and then it just kicks off, it goes, it's amazing, it's, ah, it's great, Misshapes. And essentially, it's about anyone that's ever felt like a misshape, a mistake, or a misfit. Or essentially, just an outcast, you know, like, like they do not belong in society. The people that are, you know, pushed away from being able to participate in things that, like, you know, the regular or, like, popular people might be able to participate in. And the song is essentially, it's a revenge song. It's about coming, coming up together, rebelling, you know, with unity of all the misshapes out there. And just taking back what should have been, you know, everybody's and just getting it. But the thing is, this is, like I said, this is a revenge song. This is a song about rebellion, um, you know, lots of anger in this song. It's also a bit fun. But the thing is that they're not talking about, you know, going in blowing people's brains out like some people might think. In fact, they're talking about taking the town back with their minds. Like they're gonna use the smart powers to do stuff. Anyway, so yeah. So as Miss Shapes, love it. And it definitely represents the title of Different Class on it. And then the song Pencil Skirt is, like I said before, I love Pulp's view on sexuality they have. If you look at the album His and Hers, which is prior, prior to it, and a bunch of things, a bunch of other um, Pulp songs, you'll see that many of their songs are about this glorified sexual perversion and knowing that it's wrong but loving every moment of it take for example the song babies from his and hers that's a song about hiding in your girlfriend's sister's wardrobe and watching as she gets it on so yeah which that's babies by the way it's on the previous album not on this one but the song pencil skirt is you know that scenario it's about you know just glorified sexual perversion it's knowing that it's wrong but still wanting to do it it's, it's about the singer um talking about um, being in a relationship with a woman who is engaged. And there's there's this great lyric in here that really shows it. Um, that's a great example of this. He says, I only come here because I know it makes you sad. I only do it because I know you know it's bad. Oh, don't you know that it's ugly and it shouldn't be like that? But oh, it's turning me on. Of course, he sings it. You know, lyrics aren't as fun when you just say them. But yeah, and I'm not saying that, you know, you should go and cheat with people because that's an awful thing to do. It's just, I do not hear stuff like this talked about in this sort of way. You know, sexuality and relationships are usually portrayed in the media as the greatest things ever, or the worst things ever. And this is just, I love Pulp because it seems like a really unique spin on the whole thing. And it's just great. Anyways, after that is the song which, um, if anyone who's really familiar with Pulp probably knows this song. This is probably their biggest song and many people would argue that it's their best song out there this is the song common people which is more than anything else on the album more than misshapes more than really anything else on the album it is about just a different class as once again 
the album suggests. And it's a song with just great lyrics, and it's a fun pop song also, and it's, you know, something catchy, something you can sing to and dance, but it's also something that it's not this repetitive mess like you see with uh, mainstream pop nowadays, and pulp is like that, you know? It's, it's never repetitive and annoying. It's catchy, and it might be repetitive, but it's a good repetitive, and it's not overly repetitive like I'm saying the word repetitive a lot that's a bit er ironic but eh, whatever and yeah so it's a really great song and it definitely 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 one of the things I love about pulp songs and this one shows it a lot is it's climactic like it builds up and then it I don't know what that was but it's it's a climactic song so yeah and then after that you get back to the weird sexual perversion things with um, I spy which is just this dark and dirty and really perverted. Like, it sounds like something, you know, you hear somebody talking about in the back of an alleyway or something, if you want to go for the cliche stuff. But it's essentially about what it is about, which if my parents are watching, this is going to be like, Daniel, you listen to weird music. But it's about um, a man having sex with another man's, I think his girlfriend or wife or something like that just in order to get revenge on that man. Like, he's not doing it, really, for anyone's personal benefit. It's just to piss off this one guy. And that's, it's this really weird, weird, dirty, dark song, which, yeah, I don't know how you guys will react to that, but once again, I love how, you know, Pulp talks about these things in a unique way. I'm a fan of that. Then after that is the song Disco 2000, which speeds up the album again, and it brings it back to, you know, a pop feeling, and it's probably the poppiest sounding thing, why am I still doing this, on the album. And hearing just two seconds of the intro, if you've heard the song before, you will know instantly this is Disco 2000. I'm going to listen to this. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to sing. I'm going to dance. I'm going to enjoy this song. And it's just, it's this really good song. And it's catchy and it quickly gets you hooked on everything. Anyways, after that, um, the album slows down again, which, by the way, one thing I love about this album is its great pacing. And so the next song is Live Bed Show, which slows down the album. But the thing is, um, there's no slow so there are slow songs on the album, but, but there's no slow songs that are boring at all. This album is never a boring ball, maybe a bit later. I'll deal with something later on. Um, but essentially, the album, I never really get bored of it, except for one thing I'll talk about later. And the live bed show, you know, it's slow, but it picks up, and then it gets slow again. It's just this nice pace. Then after this, I might get some people disagreeing with me, but the song Something Changed. I think it's a great song. I love it. But I do not think it should have been on Different Class. There's just something about the song. If, you li if you've listened to Different Class before, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, essentially, I think, though, it's a great song, but it... It doesn't seem to fit in the whole vibe of the rest of the album. I don't know what this is, but it is something. And it just it doesn't seem to fit as well. Um, it's still a great song. It's a slower paced song, but it's great. I love it. And then also, one song, one of my favorite songs in the album is the one right after Something Changed, and it is Sorted for Ease and Whiz. And it's just this, it's this amazing feel-good song, which is just... It's relaxing, it's, it makes you feel worry-free, it just makes it feel like, you know, everything is right in the world for the three or four minutes, however long the song is. And, um, yeah, it's really nice. And then the song after it, which is what I was trying to get to before I was talking about Live Bed Show, of how the album never gets boring. This, this song can be a bit boring. Feeling Called Love, or F-E-E-L-I-N-G-C-A-L-L-E-D-L-O-V-E, -E -E, as it's spelled out. It's a song that pulp songs one of the things i love about them is there's build up and then it pays off and it's climactic but one of my issues with this is that there's too much build up like it takes a while for the song to really get in and then when it does it definitely there is it pays off a bit but not as much as it should have you know it i think that the slower moments should be balanced with fast things um depending on the song this is one song that definitely felt like there should have been more of a climax and more of just more payoff. I don't, I'm trying to do something with my arms. I don't understand what I'm doing, to be honest. But, um, just, it takes a while, and it's not really even into a minute and 18 seconds until the song really starts, where Jarvis starts not even really singing, it's just quietly talking, which, I'm, 
I know right now I'm probably making it sound like a bad song, but it's not. It's a good song. It just... I find it to be, like... It's too slow in the start, and it doesn't really pay off for it later. But it is a great thing. And it's one of the songs, again, that talks about love being this dirty thing that you're hooked on. Like, you're addicted to it, you don't understand it, it makes no sense, but you love it. And it's dirty and weird and... Yeah. Speaking of dirty and weird things, Underwear is the next song. And this is personally my favorite song in the album. I think it's beautiful, um, has great lyrics, has great rhythm. The instruments and Jarvis's voice go together just perfectly. And there's build up, there's climax, there's everything that I really want out of a pulp song. And it's just, the it's paced perfectly. Like goes from being fast to slow. It's I love it. It's a great song. And it's followed up by another great song, Monday Morning, which this is when, you know, this is the second last song in the album. You can sort of see just by the weird by the way the lyrics sort of are, you know, it's starting to wrap up. But the song itself is this fast paced song and it's got a great, you know, I don't know if you call it a beat, but it's got a great beat. It's got good lyrics, it's climactic, and it's the type of song that makes you want to, I don't know if I'd necessarily say dance, but it makes you want to get up and move around. So I guess dance, but not in that woo! It's, I don't know. It's a very good song. I love it a lot. And it's, it's great, you know? Anyway, so the final song is Bar Italia, which I love this song. This was the perfect way to wrap up the album. This is a beautiful, slow song, and it's just I don't know, it's it's the perfect outro song. I might not love it as much if they put it in the middle, but they perfectly, well, they did a very good job at introducing the album, but they did a perfect job at closing it with the song Bar Italia. It's amazing, I actually used it in like a school project or two. It's just this very, very nice, slow-paced song. Anyway, so that's what I thought of the album. If you have heard um the album, tell me in the comments below what you thought. Also, if there's an album you would like to hear me review, tell me also in the comments below. Anyways, so goodbye, and I will talk to you later. You've been watching Music Time!